Hey guys, this is Bram with Tutorial Clarity, and today I'm just going to be giving a quick basic tutorial on HTML links, um, hyperlinks, moreover. Uh, it's a very, very basic concept. Again, as my previous lesson, it's uh, the basics of the basics. But for those of you who are searching just how to do uh, HTML links, this tutorial is for you. So let's get right down to it. I'm going to create a new document here in Dreamweaver. And as always, you can new, uh, use Notepad if you so choose. But I highly recommend downloading Dreamweaver. So you go to File, New, HTML Document. You know, obviously default here. And uh, we're just going to rename the title to HTML Links. And let's open up the body. All right, now to create an HTML link, the first thing you should know is that the link itself must be within the body tags. It must be between the body opening and the body closing. It can be anywhere in between. Uh, it can have any parent element. It just has to be within there, within the body tags. Can't be inside the head. Can't be inside the head. <coughs> Excuse me. So to create a link, this is what you do. Type left arrow to open up the tag, a space href h r e f equals quotations, and then your link will go here. So we'll put http www.google.com, and then we'll close it with the right arrow, and then open up a left arrow, and forward slash and Dreamweaver automatically closes the tag for us. Now, as most tags in HTML, any the name of the link, what will display as the link itself, i.e., click here or uh, you know, I mean, I don't know what else you would have other than click here. Maybe you just have text within you know a paragraph, and the the word here is a link to Google.com. Well, this is what we're gonna do. We're gonna say click here for Google. <laughs> and uh, I'm going to show you something. First of all, let's go ahead and save this. You go to File, Save As. I'm going to save it to my desktop. And I'm going to call this index.html. By default in Dreamweaver, it automatically detects the document type you opened with. But uh, anyway, so there it is, index.html. And we come over here. We're going to click Preview in Firefox. And there it is. Here is our link that says Click Here to Google. And remember at the beginning we changed the title, it says HTML links. But here's our link that says click here for Google, and we click that, and now we're at Google.com. Very interesting. Not really. Again, this is really uh, just the basics of the basics, guys. But, you know, you gotta know what you gotta know. So here's another thing. What if you don't want it to change the window directly? And what I mean by that is uh, right now we have this tab selected in Firefox. It would be the same thing for Internet Explorer, but what if when I click this I didn't want to navigate away from this page but I wanted Google to open up in a new tab rather than a whole you know change of the page for example I click here and I'm gone from the previous page I'll show you what I'm talking about the best way to show you what I'm saying is to do it what you can do is right after the quotation see here right after the quotation of the link a href equals and then your links within quotations one space after that Type target equals underscore and then quote underscore blank. And what this is going to do is it's going to open up, it's going to tell the browser whenever you click the link on the click event to open up a new tab. And I'll show you what I'm talking about. I'm just going to hit control S to save that document. Go back over here to Firefox, refresh the page, and I click. It says click here for Google and watch this. There it is. See, we didn't navigate away from this page. It opened up in a new tab. And that's also very useful so when people are done looking at whatever they were, whatever you link them to and they close the tab, they're back at your site. They see that uh, that tab is still open, which is pretty, you know, useful. So, um, is there anything else I can cover about links? Obviously, I could go into the styles of links, you know. CSS style and then uh, open up the quotes and I could change the colors and things like that and the hover states 
but that is not what I wanted to cover in this tutorial. CSS will come later. So with that, I think that's all that I'm going to cover on HTML links. Always be sure to hop over to my channel, the Tutorial Clarity, on YouTube, and uh, if you should so choose to subscribe to my videos. I have a bunch of Photoshop and, uh, you know, I'm working on the HTML tutorials. We're going to be doing a bunch of CSS and PHP, jQuery, Ajax, you name it. So, uh, guys, my name is Graham with Tutorial Clarity. I hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Take care. Say